Well, folks, here we are with a uh, another tasting, uh, one of a very few that I've done recently. Um, and this is a Feo or Feo, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. Not mine, I didn't grow this, it was grown by a friend at the allotment. And um, this comes from a variety called Mammoth. Uh, he's grown his in his polytunnel. Uh, he's nice, healthy trees that are absolutely rammed with uh, fruit this year. So. Um, I actually don't know if this is an entirely ripe or not. Um, I've had one before this, so this is actually officially my second one. And I say I'm not entirely sure if it's ripe because uh, you can see the centre there. I would have thought to be a bit more of a gelatinous centre. Um, and I say that because of the photos and videos that I've seen, which this doesn't necessarily have much of. Uh, it's still fairly firm, the flesh. I don't know if it softens up at all. Uh, I mean, I've had this in the fridge for a few days, so... Um, yeah, I don't know if this is entirely ripe, but she'll try it anyway. I'm gonna cut this into a quarter just to see. It's quite tough to cut through as well, but um, let's have a taste of this. So, um, these are quite unique tasting. Um, you know, it's a funny thing doing um, tasting videos because <clears throat> Usually you describe something as tasting uh, as something similar. So if it tastes like pineapple, banana, mango, or something like that, you're based not on the presumption that your audience know what they those things taste like. But if nobody's ever tasted an apple and you say it tastes like an apple, how do you know what an apple tastes like? And I think that to a certain extent this is the case with this, because it's quite a unique taste, very floral, very aromatic. Not particularly sweet. Now, granted, I'm not entirely sure if this is fully ripe or not, or could have been ripened even more. But you do get hints of all of those other fruits in there. There's a kind of pineapple hint there. Um, maybe some t a tiny bit of mango, banana-y type. Um, what else? Pear. Kind of reminds me of pear. The, the, the flesh on this side here is quite grainy. Nice, though. Then you have this gelatinous centre here, which is a bit more sweet. But, um, yeah, very, very nice, very different. Um, I kind of find it hard to describe the taste. It's one of those things you just have to taste for yourself. But I like those, um, yeah, hopefully mine will get a, I, I have two small ones. One is this, um, which I thought was dead, it's coming back now this year, and I have another healthy one. Uh, they're not any particularly named varieties or they're not named varieties um but my friend who does have about three or four varieties uh hand pollinated a lot of his this year so that's probably explains why he has such a bumper crop um and i'll probably try and get my hands on some pollen off him if mine uh, decides to flower next year but uh there you go there's a, a feoa a uh, very interesting fruit and I suspect one that many people don't grow, but actually probably could grow, and uh, ones that I suspect could probably do reasonably well in our climate. But uh, there you go. Take it easy, folks.